Templates can be assigned to the single article, category block, featured articles, tagged items, list all tags, single contact, search, smart search, and error 404 pages. These are the same pages which can be linked in the Joomla menu. The content of your selected page will be automatically available as page sources. For example, the single article page will render a single article. The category block page will render a category page displaying all its articles. And the tagged items page will render a tag page displaying all its items. This template will also be applied to the compact list of tagged items page. Now let's go through the templates one by one. First, let's create a template for the single article page. Give it a name, and since we are on a single article page, it is already selected. Depending on the page, there are different filter options to specify and restrict the assignment. For example, for the single article page, you can limit the template assignment by category. The template is only assigned to the selected category. Articles from child categories are not included. You can use the Shift or Command or Control key to select multiple categories. Additionally, you can further limit the assignment by tags. Let's click Save. And as you can see, our article appears in the single article group. Let's create a layout for this template. I have already prepared a layout, which I saved in the layout library. To map the content of our article to the panel element, we first need to select it as the content source. Since it is the source of the current page, you can find it under Page. Now, the fields of our article are available for mapping. Let's map the title of our article, content, and the full article image. And as you can see, our whole article is rendered in the panel element. Click Save and let's go back to the Templates panel. Now, let's create a template for the Category Block page. Here, you can also limit the assignment by category. The template will be only assigned to the selected category, and child categories are not included. Additionally, you can limit the template assignment to specific tags or by page number. For example, you can choose whether the template applies to all pages, only the first page, or all pages except the first page. This way, you can have a different template for the first page of your blog. For our case, let's select all pages. And as you can see, our template appears in the category blog group. To create a layout for this template, we first need to go to the category blog page. And now, the Builder button appears next to our template. Here I have also prepared a layout, which I saved in the layout library. For this layout, I want to display all articles in the grid element. First, we need to select articles as the content source. Now, the fields of our articles are available for mapping. Let's map the title of our articles, intro image, and link. And now, all articles from the news category are displayed in our layout. Now let's take a look what other filter options there are. For featured articles, you can limit the template assignment by page number. The same applies to the tagged items page. List all tags, single contact, search, smart search, and Error 404 pages have no other filter options. You can access the Error 404 page by clicking the link in the description text under the template list. Here you will also find the link how to return to the home page. 